The Ask the Mayor program is being brought to you by Turnersville Auto Mall, part of the United Auto Group and located in Washington Township for over 25 years. Turnersville Auto Mall. This program is sponsored by Turnersville Auto Mall and the Turnersville Collision Center, located on the Black Horse Pike in Turnersville, Washington Township. Hi and welcome to the latest edition of Ask the Mayor, the video newsletter that answers the five W questions. For example, what are people talking about around town? Who's making a difference in the community? Why do we follow certain policies and procedures? When can we see some new changes in the community? Where can we get more information about the topics affecting our lives? And of course, we can't forget the big H question, how can I get involved and become an active participant in my community? So without further delay, let's start answering some questions right now. Hi, Mr. Mayor. I'm wondering what the township is going to do to preserve open space for our enjoyment. Well, Susan, I can tell you about two large areas in town that we're hoping to preserve. First off, the township is purchasing one of the largest undeveloped properties in the area. It's a 53-acre parcel of land on Salina Road adjacent to the Zimmerman farm stand. This rambling, meadow-like property was appraised at $4 million, but the township will only pay a $1 million using open space funds. The county will fund 50% of the purchase, and the state will cover the remaining 25%. This open space may be used for active and or passive recreation. Now, active recreation areas could include playgrounds, athletic fields, and walking paths. Passive recreation is similar to the conservation efforts made at the Banks tract of land on Green Tree Road, where trees, shrubs, and flowers create a beautiful sanctuary for birds and other wildlife. The township is also attempting to purchase 128 acres of land on Fish Pond Road, known as the Smith Garrison Tract, and preserve that as open space. Currently, that land is being appraised to see how much it's worth. And if you're wondering, we have about $4 million in the coffers of the open space account. So we are working with county and state officials to hopefully assist us with that purchase. We're hoping to obtain state monies or a grant from Green Acres funds to buy the land. So stay tuned. I'll give you another update as soon as we have information. But that's not all we're doing to enhance our open spaces. At our recent Earth Day celebration in the park, we caught up with Harry Larzelier, who's chairman of the Washington Township Open Space Committee. And here's Harry to tell us more. We're also embarking on an island project, a beautification project on different islands in the township. And we want to put in trees and, and plants and shrubs. And also it'll bring wildlife back to the property as well as different birds and animals. And this is something that we really need more of in Washington Township today. Well, Harry, I couldn't agree with you more. We do need to bring more of Mother Nature back into our community, enhancing the appearance of our roadways, islands, and open spaces with trees, shrubs, and flowers will go a long way towards improving our quality of life. Now, some local landscapers have volunteered to donate their services to assist Harry and the Open Space Committee in their island beautification efforts. But we're also looking for neighborhood homeowners associations, churches, scout troops, and other civic organizations to adopt small areas around town for improvements. Think of it like an extreme makeover for our local roads. Plaques will be erected on the islands identifying the donors. If your civic group would like to adopt a spot around town, please contact us through one of these two numbers. The Washington Township Park Services at 589-6427 or the Washington Township Parks and Recreation Department at 589-0523. If a few groups can lend a hand at landscaping the small spaces around town, I think it will spread like wildflowers and create a beautiful aesthetic experience in Washington Township. Oh, and by the way, we've also been talking to the Department of Transportation. They're in charge of the Black Horse Pike, 
and we've convinced them to begin landscaping those center islands as you enter into town from Route 42. That work should start very soon and it should make for a much more attractive entrance to Washington Township. Speaking of beautiful things, these beautiful flowers adorning our Ask the Mayor set this month were grown in our own greenhouse at Washington Lake Park. They're part of the thousands of flowers grown each year for our annual Mother's Day program. And here to tell us about it is Washington Township Park Ranger, Jim McCann. The Mother's Day project begins March 25th when we go into the area schools. Each child gets a four pack to plant four little seedlings. They're then brought back to the greenhouse to grow to maturity. In the beginning of May, we take each child back one flower and they get to make mom a nice gift for Mother's Day. The rest of the flowers are either planted at the schools or in the park by the children. Well, thank you, Jim. The Mother's Day flower program started over 14 years ago, and each year it gets bigger and better with more and more and more varieties of flowers grown in our very own greenhouse. More deliveries to schools and more children participating. I guess you could say it just keeps growing, but why not? Our moms do so much for us, I can't think of a better way to say thanks, Mom.